guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at Android 21 in the Red Zone Buhan fight. Now, we also have the brand new Red Zone Kid Buu fight, but attempts right now are very limited. So I'm trying to get a lot of different showcases for a lot of different characters. We'll take 21 into Red Zone Buhan first. Um, and then, of course, we'll go ahead and do a Red Zone Kid Buu video uh, later on. Um, Android 21, certainly with all the additions of the Majin Power Team, um, Android 21 can work very effectively. LR Bulma is very strong in Android 21's team too, so it just generally works very well. Alright, uh, we have a new Red Zone fight. I figure why not just go ahead with kind of like uh, this team that we've been using here. Uh, into the Red Zone Buhan fight. Um, we are going to have to be well aware that Boo Tanks does have some nasty locking in here. We got ceiling. We've got some tough mechanics um, that we should respect in here. Bulma, that's actually perfectly ideal for us. Okay, lovely. Um, we're bringing kind of like a team that is a bit of a hard counter to this fight, too. I, I don't know. How could we possibly lose this fight? Uh, Boo Tanks is lock, I guess. Um, but I, 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 you know, I, we got to get a red zone. We got to get one red zone fight in here. I, I guess I could have done, like, we could have done a red zone fusion Zamasu run, but like, hey, uh, hey, guess what? Uh, 21 is not a character you run in red zone fusion Zamasu, uh, literally ever. Like when they made Android 21, they made her like, you know, and they're like, yeah, like we're putting our foot on her neck and we're saying she's not allowed to be used in fusion Zamasu. Like. Just the way she's designed, where she gets her dodge after she attacks like this. She's just a non-factor against Fusion Zamasu. Uh, I mean, we could have done Red Zone Movie Boss Rush, I guess. But, like, dude, that is so long. We're an hour and 20 in right now. I think what we'll probably do is we'll probably do this. And then we'll probably hop into Cell Max. And then I think we'll finish with that. Uh, we had a nice little uh, round trip. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I mean, I mean we we've been... Rock and shit nicely, right? Um, I mean, she leads a solid team. I don't... I don't, like... Here's the thing, though. I mean, I don't... Maybe you could call me crazy. You could call me insane. But, like, Android 21 at Gamma 1... Wait. Uh... I... Well, I mean, I guess we'll... We'll you put Fapu in Cell 1 here. Yeah. Because, I mean, what is Boo Tanks going to do? Kill Fapu? That worked. That's all according to Keikaku. Okay. I don't... He wouldn't probably be able to kill him anyway. Um, what was I saying? Ah, I was starting to say something. Oh! 21. God Goku. Gamma 1. I... Like, like these are characters that, like, are, are close to me. Like, there's no way what I see from Android 21 throughout a lot of these runs that I'm thinking she's, like, better than God Goku. Or, like, better than Gamma 1 or something like that. Like, it, it, it's like, I, I think that they're kind of, like, in a similar level. I, again, if I had to rank them, I would say Gamma 1, God Goku, Android 21. Wait, why don't I look at my... Wait, hold up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Did I say an oopsie? No, that's what my tier list was. Perfect. Okay. Phew. Yeah, Gamma 1, God Goku 21. I had Gamma 1 at 8, God Goku at 9, 21 at 10. Yeah, seems good. Yep. I got no problem with that. Yeah, that that that's how it feels. Like, those three, uh, they're hanging on. But again, 21, her role, I mean, it's not so much different than God Goku. God Goku, if anything, is definitely better because we could easily slot him into slot one in some of these situations much more effectively than 21. But, um, you know, one thing you could say is, like, 21 has a way more elite active skill. I'll take 21's active skill at this point probably over God Goku's. Uh, plus, I don't like transform with God Goku typically. All right, 21 got sealed, but that's not going to hurt us. Do that, yep. All right, we... Uh Speaking of a long haul, we really could be in for a long one here. Because remember, the thing is, uh, like, Fat Boo, like, when he, like, we, 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 we just saw what happened. Like, when Fat Boo dies and revives, like, he gets the extra, like, extra 100% damage. And he gets the guaranteed additional super. 
And then on top of that, like I've got I've got him with like mostly crits and then additionals, right? Like I have a full offensive build on Fafu. So it's like at that point, once he's revived, he's doing good damage. Um, but it's like you know, once he re reviving Fat Boo, we see that once every twenty runs. Because he, he's just because Fat Boo is good, like you know, like he's just good. So it's hard for bosses to kill him at all. This is good. And I, I wish that his revive was the whole rotation. But to be fair, if Fat Boo's revive was the whole rotation, I would consider him like the third best character in the game or something. I don't know. I, I yeah, definitely. Like if Fat Boo's revive was just the whole rotation. He's, like, the third best character in the game. Okay. Um, I might just uh, come back once we're done with this phase, because uh, Bootanks can't do anything to us. And uh, we're just going to be here forever. So, yeah. Uh, what if we just put Fat Boo inside one again? Bootanks can't kill, right? I mean, what, what's going to happen? We're going to take damage? <laughs> Who cares? So that that actually, that's actually perfect. Yep. I'll let this rotation play out, um, and then after this, I'm gonna just skip to the next phase because uh, it's you know we're doing no damage to him. We're building our characters up. This is gonna be an easy peasy win, but this is gonna be like a 20 turn run. M reminder that my Fapu has uh, mostly crit, by the way. We're gonna need those crits when we have type disadvantage like this. It is interesting how there's two Boo Tanks phases, and both Boo Tanks phase is physical, huh? All right, well, we'll come back once we're reaching the next phase. All right, guys, uh, in the Android 21-centric video, uh, I really should show the fact that I'm just going to transform them now. I mean, there's no reason whatsoever not to. I mean, if they wanted to take Android 21 up a little bit of a level, one thing they could have done is give her some sort of stacking in base, right, for sure. All right, well, I just wanted to show us transforming them. Remember, that'll give us access to her active, um, and we could use that if need be, maybe against Buhan or the Bootanks phase or something. Alrighty, so we're making it to Buhan here. Um, no reason to use 21's um, active or anything like Well, is there? No, we should save it for Bootanks. Huh. Should we just transform a Buhan right here? I think so, right? Yeah. I don't I don't have fear in here. This is not like, oh my god, we gotta min-max our stacks or any shit like that, right? Like who cares? I don't with 21 having type advantage against a weaker boss like this, Buhan is only super in like 1.4 million or something like that, right? She should be fine. Okay, well that could be bad if we Okay, well, we could have eaten that a little... I mean, sure. We'd have eaten that a little bit better if we didn't dodge the first attack. and Because, remember, we'd get hit. We'd get the defense. We'd super. But, I mean, we've already... You know, bro, 21 has looked like UI Goku dodging these supers up to this point. So, we're fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. That was her just eating it raw, man. I guess, you know, she's got it like that. And guess what? She's going to heal our HP right back. So, no biggie. All that HP regen right there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can't do nothing. Uh, and with 21 plus Buhan, again, this is an effective rotation. Like, this doesn't, you know, weaken Buhan or anything at all. Like, we have really big boy links up for both of them. Buhan obviously has Majin as well that he could potentially have up. But, um, I mean, Metamorphosis plus Big Bad Bosses. I mean, uh, he Buhan is actually getting more stats next to 21 than he would be getting next to Fapu, right? Just based off of the way uh, Buhan's link set is. Yeah, all right. So there we go. Now, now we're like really gonna be chefing it up. Uh, we're gonna have the twenty ones transformed. We have the LR Gammas transformed, um, and it's gonna be you know cooked central from this point on. Uh, right about now, I should begin thinking about uh, Boo Tanks as the next phase, though. Like, I, we don't want to get too sloppy toppy whoppy here. Um, and throw off someone who could get crushed. We could throw off 21. No problem with that. Because uh, she's got her active. She's the showcase character. I'm... Yeah, I'm going to do it. I mean, I feel like people could be... Oh my god. Game 1's got type advantage. 
bro, like, we're gonna... You know what? We're gonna let 21 cook, okay? We're saving the active. Actually, I mean, does Boo Tanks even kill 21? With her doing her active and getting her on attack buff? Like, Boo Tanks doesn't hit that hard. Right? Like, 21 can take a, a weaker boss. And weaker boss... Anything... I, I would consider anything under 2 million to be what I'm dubbing kind of like a weaker boss. Like, not, I'm not saying they're a weak boss, but weaker than, like, you know, the top tier baddies. Uh, uh, no... Well, I think uh, Buff Boo towards the end. Uh, he does touch on 2 million damage. Um, but... <clears throat> Just like uh, Sword of Hope Trunks, Buff Boo will just go... He'll, he goes down so fast, right? That it's just... It's like, see you later, alligator. Like, he's out of here. All right, we're doing some good damage to uh, uh, Boo Hun here. Sure, sure, sure. Damn, we're already on turn eight. We still have many phases to go. I think at this point, I might just cut once we're done with this Boo Hun phase. Because you see the way we're just clowning on this kid at this point. Like, he can't do anything to us. Um, we already saw what Android 21 looked like in slot 1. And that was Android 21 without the LR Gamma's two-turn support as well. So, we could just go ahead and hop right back in. And we'll be able to get, um, you know, next turn we'll have uh, LR Gamma 1's two-turn support. So, that'll be good. You know what? We should play this. Let's just play it. Let's go. Okay, sure. If he had a super right there, we'd have eaten it way better than last time. With Gam 1 support, plus her actually getting hit first. And then remember, with, with the way our team is constructed, um, in order for us to lose, we basically have to be one-shotted. Um, this, like, whittle down shit, like, would not work against our team. Like, we have to eat, you know, 800k damage in one go. All right, so this is good. So, Buhan will be able to get a few stacks. This is going to be a good turn for Buhan, right? Because in the middle slot... Yep, sure, figured. Uh, you know, Buhan, he's got Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses. He's got uh, Majin up, right? Like, he's got all, all his good stuff up. So, Buhan looks pretty good. Buhan is just a great character. Um, he is actually just such an incredible elite EZA. Uh, if, if anyone is curious and everyone wants my thoughts on it, I absolutely rank him above STR Vegito for free easily to me i have this guy above str vegeto like i i I, it, I don't even need to think on it like sometimes it's like oh a character like oh i said that like should let's think on this mm. now nah, buhan above vegeto for free sorry the inconsistent hp condition is inconsistent bothers me um hmm perfect Guess we'll float off game one. And uh, we'll leave the L LR game one in the middle slot. So that uh, game one, who's locked in the last slot, will be able to have all those links up and stuff like that, right? Seven out of seven for LR game one. Sure. All right, this is going to be really good for 21 next turn. Uh, I made one blunder. Damn it. Last turn. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was too busy thinking about last turn. Should have put Buhan in slot one. Because then we'd be loading into this next turn and we'd have 21 Buhan 21. Damn it. Because if... Yeah. Damn. What I'm looking for right here, I think, is for the friend 21 to get locked in slot one. That's That's what I want to happen. All right, so we have Bulma support up and LR Game 1 support up for this next rotation. So, regardless. Plus, this next rotation, you know, we're in the locking boss phase. This is where we will throw Android 21's active skill with no hesitation whatsoever. Um, so, with both 21's on the rotation, with both 21's with their active skills queued up, uh, we will have a double attack break that we're just going to toss right out. All right, LR Gam 1 really went crazy right there. Sure, we'll take it. We'll take it. The crits, man. Uh, we didn't get the hidden potential system additional super, though, huh? 
That's kind of a shame. Oh, wow. Crazy damage turn right here. Lovely. The 21s, I think their octaves will just finish him at this point. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Cheeky slot three super attack, huh? I mean, now... Yeah, I mean, now... I... Ow! We don't even need to use the active at this point. Huh. Uh, the friend, she is level 10 links. Yeah, she is. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna use the active right here just so we can say, see what would have happened. We would have just attack broken it anyway. Um, but the second active, we'll just go ahead and save for later on. We'll save, um... The friend 21 in slot 1. We'll save her active. And we'll use my 21's active right here. Ah, uh, we didn't even finish. Okay. Well, it's not a big, big deal. Uh, the only thing that's going to suck about that is Buhan stacks. We're going to be a stackless Buhan moving forward here. Bam. All right. Okay, so now we have uh, Boo Piccolo. Uh, remember that Boo Piccolo? I think I'm going to do this. I could go Sesher, but I won't. I'm going to put Fat Boo on slot one because Boo Piccolo stuns when he supers, and I'm good on that shit. I'm good on all that. He didn't even super attack right away. Okay. I think we're probably just going to kill Boo Piccolo right here. Probably. Uh, these lower level forms in here do not have a high amount of HP. So, LR Gamma 1. I mean, if he gets crits, uh, Boo Piccolo, he's toast. Double digits. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, we, well, we definitely don't have Gamma 1 up to um, you know, have all of our links up, but we're still fine. Yeah, we're not going to finish him in one turn, but it'll be close enough. Damn, I actually now wish that I had done the friend 21's active. Because uh, then we would have... Because I, I think my 21 is going to be on the rot probably the first rotation against Buff Boo. Remember, we only have one more phase after this, and it's just Buff Boo. Those weapon supers getting us closer and closer and closer. Alright, so of course here we throw up Buhan. Remember, Buhan's stats are... Wow. Yeah, I can't really tell, but... Um, you know, he didn't get stacks last turn, right? But, uh, yeah, Buhan is crazy. I mean, the thing is, you know, we do have Bulma support up. Remember, this Gamma 1 is uh, all ally support. We ate it, which means we get stunned, yeah. All right, so all of a sudden now, Boo Piccolo is hanging in there. Because 21, I mean, she she's going to need to crit in order to actually do damage here. Okay, sure. Yeah, it is the friend 21 that's right there, huh? Look at her critting. All right, there we go. There we go. My 21 would almost certainly not be critting, right? That's not the that's not the route the build I chose to go with twenty one. Although to be fair, I don't know that those crits actually like I, I don't think that really is moving the needle though. <laughs> At least the, the thing is, my twenty one, we've already dodged the super in this long video, so it's good. It's good. It's all good. It's all good. Remember, twenty one, her role is not a damage dealer. And and here's the thing about damage dealing characters, right? Check this out, check this out. Um, you want to know the thing about damage dealing characters? Uh, all good characters are pretty much doing at least decent damage. So, like, it's not really a big deal that characters are like, oh my god, but they're damaged, though. I mean, it's like, if we're talking about something that's, like, super close. 
like, I don't know. If we're talking about the difference between, like, what are, like, really, like, two characters who are actually, like, super close? I don't know, like, Tech, Vegeta, and Topo or something like that? Like, I think Vegeta is doing more damage than Topo. They both fulfill similar roles in a lot of situations. Like, I, I could nudge Vegeta over Topo a little bit because of his offense, probably. That would be an example of that. Vegeta over Topo. Vegeta, I also think, is going to age a little bit better, which helps Vegeta a little bit in my eyes. But, like, that that's an example. Like, like people, again, upset. I mean, I'll, oh, I'm always going to be ranting about people's obsession with damage, people's obsession with characters' potentials and not what they actually do. I'll always be ranting against that, against that shit. Be, be used to it forever. Uh, all right. Well, this is uh, pretty goaded right here. Let's... If we want to maximize the damage for 21, what we do is we have Bulma Chan in slot 1 and do our active skill first. So then the active skill buff kicks in for 21. And then this buff kicks in for 21. And then now we'll do our active right here. This will do potentially really good damage right here. Everything up except for Android Assault, which is only defense and key anyway. Crit. Okay, sure. 12 million crit right there. We'll take it. Uh, Bulma will be fine. This is a 2 million damage super boss, but Bulma, with her uh, active up, she should be okay. Oh, maybe we attack broke the super attack right there, too. Yeah, I, I did think Bulma would be okay right there, even though I know she's not guarding. But remember, this fight has been super long. So Bulma, remember, what does she get? 7% damage reduction every turn. So Bulma's damage reduction would have been looking really solid, actually. Alright, and the friend 21 can go ahead and wrap us up right here. Wrap that shit up. Perfect. Looks like you do need to finish Buff Blue with the super attack, which 21 does. Nice. Alright, yeah, things went good. Things went good. Um, you know, we've had 21, you know, in I mean, undoubtedly what is her best setup, right? It's gone good. Uh just if you're running full Majin power, I mean things of course can be a little little scarier for her, but you know, it's all good, it's all good. One thing about, like, this video is just, like, damn, like, you know, we've seen the LR Gammas, you know, get cooked as well. But, uh, bro, LR Gamma wants two turn defense. That shit. What were they thinking in a good way? Like, I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, please do it. Yeah, what were they thinking as in please do it again? <laughs> but, like, what were they thinking with Gamma wants two turn support? It's so busted. It's actually, like, I just see it, kind like... Like, when he's on the other rotation, you just, you feel it. You feel it. You feel it. You feel how busted game one support is. But there we go. Uh, Red Zone Buhan clean sweep with 21's team.